tell me about the sacrifice. It's, it's just you, you and me, doctor. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the sacrifice. I know the sacrifice that I had to make uh, where I am today. What was your sacrifice? What can you share with us about the sacrifice? Hmm. Well, it was giving up being comfortable, which was a very difficult thing to do. Um, I decided not to go back to higher education. Um, and so really pursue what I was called to do full time. Um, and you know, that can be a scary thing. And that can be a scary thing. You know, when you when you make it to a certain level in your career, Absolutely. You, you know, to walk away from that, you know, the prestige that comes with the title. And the security. The security. Or perceived security. Perceived. You know, <laughs> perceived security. Yeah. The, you know, the salary that comes along with that. Um, and of course, it's not just me making that sacrifice because I have a family. You know, I have a husband, I have children. Yes. Um, so the sacrifices that I'm making impact them as well. Um, and then choosing to, you know, really move forward, not just say, oh, I'm not going to take another job, I'm going to work on this, and just, you know, here and there, I'm working on it, but to go full force with it meant that there were things that I couldn't do that I would normally do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I. I really watch TV anyway, but you know now it's like I'm on my computer. I'm getting my work done. I'm getting my website ready. I'm working on this book. I'm working on the next one. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm trying to get things in, into place, and this has really become more than a full time job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I am eating this. I am sleeping this. I am drinking this. Um, you know, I'm sure my husband gets tired of hearing me talk about it. I'm you sure know, because he does. it has become <laughs> such a part of. Who I am because it is who I am. Ooh, Dr. Sharita, wait a minute. That was good right there. Say that again. It has become such a part of who I am because it is who I am. And it's just like it's second nature. When I made the choice to follow this path, yeah. to see it through, yes. I became who I was trying to become. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, this is good. You know, when I was so focused on career, um, it was hard for me to find the time to do things. It was hard for me to really, you know, make this a part of my lifestyle. Um, it would it would show up every now and then, and I would have people who would see it and who would say, you know, actually. You know, like, you should coach. You know, it's many things like that to me. But, you know, it would come and go and come and go in, in ways because I wasn't allowing it to consume me. Um, and now it does. Now, it, now that it's not to the exclusion of everything. Very else. good. You know, I still have a wife. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I still engage with my family. Yes. I still have fun. Yes. You know, <laughs> and all of that. But it, it has really become a priority in my life. I cannot not do this mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I am, I'm a realist, which sometimes can be problematic. I'm very practical mm -hmm. and just, you know, I like to have things in place. I like to have plan A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. um, so to kind of set that aside and really just take this step by step, it will watch the full rise to meet me as that next foot goes That's down. That's wonderful. wonderful. It's, it's amazing. Um, I mean, the people that have shown up mm -hmm. to help me um, has been amazing. Um, the opportunities that have come open have been amazing. And I'm just, you know, I'm looking to see what's behind the next door. Because mm -hmm. it can only get better. And that Thank doesn't you. mean that I won't have some disappointments. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. a part of life. You know, Absolutely. It's, it's, you know, everything will not be perfect. Um, but I'm okay with the disappointments because I get so much joy from doing the work and doing what I'm called to do. There is no more waking up in the morning and feeling like, oh, I don't want to go into this place mm -hmm. today. <laughs> there is no more, you know, feeling disrespect or a supervisor not showing it 
because I'm a smart one. That's right. But feeling, you yes. know, not, not having, you know, respect the people that you work with and things like that. And just, you know, I can choose who I want to be with. Yeah. I can choose who to share my skills and talents with. And choosing people who I know will appreciate what I have to offer, mm-hmm. who will value what I have to offer, who will allow me to sow into them. Who will so back in the way they're able, Absolutely. and if they're not, it's fine. Just the fact that they're open to receiving what I have to offer really is gift enough, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and it's a wonderful thing to see people being blessed by what it is mm-hmm. you're doing, especially when you know you're called to do it. Yeah, it's so um, encouraging to hear you say that this is you, mm-hmm. and it is you because it was place in you so it is you birth something outside of you just like our children mm-hmm. um, I, I I am um, more inspired based upon you telling your story now so you can see that it's not an easy task there will be challenges but the sacrifice and seeing it develop and like you said once you took one step the floor was waiting for you to take that, now that's huge right there because I could go on and talk about that. But it took you stepping out where you were 